Social Security History of Betrayal. Just in case some of you young whippersnappers and some older ones didn't know this. It's easy to check out if you don't believe it. Be sure and show it to your family and friends. They need a little history lesson on what's what and it doesn't matter whether you are Democrat or Republican. Facts are facts. Social Security cards up until the 1980s expressly stated the number and card were not to be used for identification purposes. Since nearly everyone in the United States now has a number, it became convenient to use it anyway and the message, not for identification, was removed. Our Social Security Franklin Roosevelt, a Democrat, introduced the Social Security FICA program. He promised, one, that participation in the program would be completely voluntary. No longer voluntary. Two, that the participants would only have to pay 1% of the first $1,400 of their annual incomes into the program. Now, 7.65% on the first $90,000. Three, that the money the participants elected to put into the program would be deductible from their income for tax purposes each year. No longer tax deductible. Four, that the money the participants put into the independent trust fund rather than into the general operating fund and therefore would only be used to fund the Social Security retirement program and no other government program and under Johnson, the money was moved to the general fund and spent. Five, that the annuity payments to the retirees would never be taxed as income. Under Clinton and Gore, up to 85% of your Social Security can be taxed. Since many of us have paid into FICA for years and are now receiving a Social Security check each month, and then finding that we're getting taxed on 85% of the money we paid into the federal government to put away, you may be interested in the following. Which political party took Social Security from the Independent Trust Fund and put it into the General Fund so that Congress could spend it? It was Lyndon Johnson and the democratically controlled House and Senate. Which political party eliminated the income tax deduction for Social Security FICA withholding? The Democratic Party. Which political party started taxing Social Security annuities? The Democratic Party with Al Gore casting the tie-breaking deciding vote as President of the Senate while he was Vice President of the United States. Which political party decided to start giving annuity payments to immigrants? And my favorite, that's right, Jimmy Carter and the Democratic Party. Immigrants moved into this country and at age 65 began to receive Social Security payments. The Democratic Party gave these payments to them and even though they never paid a dime into it. Then after violating the original contract, FICA, the Democrats turn around and tell you that the Republicans want to take your Social Security away. And the worst part about it is uninformed citizens believe it. If enough people receive this, maybe a seed of awareness will be planted and maybe changes will evolve. But it's worth a try. How many people can you send this to? Actions speak louder than bumper stickers. Please do keep this one rolling across the country. Hopefully it will open a few eyes.